Sujit, I think one person mentioned he know. So maybe uh, Sujit, you can like uh, whatever knowledge you have. So can you brief it? So other will get idea and then I will uh, add remaining things. Yeah, sure. So basically, uh, again, what I was why is it very uh, Sujit? I'm not sure it's only for me, but yeah, for me it's very low. Uh, hello, is it audible now? Yes, no. Yeah, so agile methodology is nothing but the uh, continue interaction with the client and the developer team. So basically, first of all, the Scrum master is there uh, who is going to connect with the PA from client side, and he is going to take the all the requirements and uh, he would, will do the all the requirement gathering and uh, on the basis of requirement gathering he is going to create uh, some of the users uh, some of the uh, user stories or you can say the uh, user stories on the behalf of the particular requirement uh, in the proper flow uh, after that uh, creating the particular user stories uh, in each of the sprints there should be one uh, back backlog grooming was there in that backlog grooming uh, the scrum master is going to connect with of all the developers and he's going to assign the particular user stories on the basis of the capability of the developer uh, to each of the developer or each of the uh, resource uh, on the basis of the uh, pointer that means that means uh, how much day or how much time uh, should be taken by that particular developer to complete that particular sprint so in that way and uh, it is basically is used uh, uh, on the uh, jira platform it should be the uh, currently we are using the uh, Atlassian, so I am uh, I know about the Atlassian. So in that particular uh, software, the user stories are going to be created, and in that user story, the uh, all the requirements, the, what needs to be done on that particular user story that has already been uh, uh, updated over there. And if you, if uh, as uh, as the point of as per the point of view of the developer, if you wanted to uh, uh, re, uh, if you wanted to uh, any uh, any more information. You are you are free. Uh, feel free to be post your particular question in that particular uh, section, and the client is going to answer on that particular question, so that uh, you can get continue uh, updated requirements, and uh, you can be you can resolve your queries on that particular uh, Jira platform. So I think that is a short description. Yeah, no, this is not short. Yeah, this is very uh, good uh, explanation of this agile methodology. So. He covered almost all point like what uh, we should know as a like uh, as a developer means what all things are there. So first of all, as he mentioned, like uh, coming to agile methodology. So in project development life cycle, we have multiple methodology. Okay, and agile is one of the popular methodology since uh, here you will able to fulfill the your client requirement based on industry change. Okay. Since you know nowadays, like industry is changing very rapidly. Okay, if you follow this waterfall model, then maybe there your entire effort will be useless. It may happen. I'm not saying it's always. Since uh, you have targeted to complete something in one year, and uh, in agile in waterfall model, you know, like once you will design the once you will complete the design, then only you will go for development. Okay. And later on, you can't uh, do. Means you should not do any kind of modification. But as I mentioned, like uh, nowadays, industry is revolving. They are changing very frequently. So that's why every company now moving for agile methodology. So here, what we do, like at the very beginning, we don't plan complete product. At the very beginning, okay. so we. Like decide, okay, this will be our product, but we start with one one module. Like, okay, so I I want to develop one mobile application. Okay, let's start with some basic feature first. Okay, so customer can come, he can do registration, or yeah, he can do registration, login, then few more functionality will be there, and let's say they that that particular business has multiple unit, unit A, B, C, D. Then let's uh, like let's uh, like uh, complete the development and let's launch the first unit first. Okay, unit A, whatever scopes or business are there in unit A, first uh, release that business unit. Okay, and then once that will be go live in next three four month, then 
tick another unit. OK, so in this way. Like uh, in first go live, unit one is live. And then, and then like a uh, customer will start using that application. OK, and then at the same time when uh, like next release will be there, if there will be any improvement. OK, so BA people will like keep uh, checking our application. If there will be any improvement for release one, that also will be included in release two. OK, for example, they added some functionality, but a user experience is not very good. OK, so user are complaining and many, many things are coming. So what we can do instead of waiting of that complete product to be de delivered in release two only. We can take new functionality. OK, so that is the like main advantage as and uh, as uh, like uh, I think Sujit. Yeah, as Sujit mentioned like here we have two, three people, two, three key people who play a very important role. First is BA people. OK, anyone know like who is BA people and what they do? Anyone has an idea about BA business analyst, what they do? Uh, so basically they have the full idea about the project, so they will provide the actual uh, scenarios that are going to be happen in the particular uh, uh, development. So they are very like if you say key member, then yeah, definitely they are very uh, much important in our project. So what they do, they interact with business. OK, since business are completely non function, like you can say non technical. OK, so here business people, they interact with. Sorry, BA people, business analysts, they interact with. Business people, OK, they gather all the requirement. OK. And then they will create a story. For example, as I mentioned in release one, we have like a, like our our we have targeted for uh, all the customer onboarding API, and then whatever we have functionality in business unit one that we will deliver. Okay, so these BA people will connect with business business people. They will capture all the requirement, and they will. Capture all those requirements inside a story. Okay, so they will create multiple story for each business requirement. Okay, so that will be uh, main uh, first responsibility. Now that BA people will interact with our Scrum Master and other developer to share all the like uh, business requirement. Okay, since they interact with business people, so they know what business they business people want to achieve. OK, so now they interact with us. To developer and to scrum masters and then they they will explain that story. OK, this is the story and uh, here we want to achieve this business. OK, they will share this kind of detail. OK, now. Comes in picture, so now he will play very important role. So scrum master no. OK, in my team we have seven developers. OK, there are four senior developer and three junior developer. They know what what is the capability of each developer. OK, so they will help BA people to. Uh, organize sprints. Now you will say what what is a sprint here? OK, so as I mentioned, we have decided OK, this particular functionality we are going to achieve in release one. OK, now. That particular release will be divided into multiple sprints. Sprints can be one week, two week, three week. It can be anything. OK. It, it like it will be decided by your BA people and Scrum Master. So there is no hard and fast rule. OK, this should be for this many day only. So what they will do? Uh, they will decide, OK. Means uh, that uh, Scrum Master, he know what is the capability of our developer, how many story points we can deliver, and based on that, they will select. Okay, they will connect uh, or communicate with BA people. 
okay so we have this many of developer we have this many of capacity and we will able to deliver this many story in this release oh, sorry this many story in this particular sprint okay in next sprint we are going to cover this this story this story so all, all those discussion and decision will be taken by scrum master and they have to give justification also it's not like okay i have like 20 story and i will take only two story out out of 20 so they have to give justification to be people why they have taken only this two story like based on the complexity of story based on or based on the availability of developer scrum master will decide okay this many story we are going to cover and they need to justify this also it's not like he just selected and uh, he need to justify it also okay now second like uh, then uh, he will create multiple story and let's say we have story one right now okay sorry we have multiple sprints and let's say we have sprint one right now okay now let's assume we have three team one is database team another one is news of developer team and another one is this uh, front end team okay so we can have database team and back end we have salesforce system also okay so <clears throat> If Mulesoft team want to deliver something, okay. So there will be any dependency on Mulesoft team. Can anyone tell me? Here we have three team: Salesforce and database in backend. Um, like uh, storage location we have. Then in backend, like uh, backend means uh, this Mule application. We have Mulesoft team, and in front end we have this web application team. Okay, Android team. So can anyone tell me like uh, what do we have any kind of dependency on use of team if we want to deliver speed, uh, story one and two. So use of team will have any dependency in sprint one or they can simply go and they can start development. Hello. Okay, so I think no one has idea. So definitely Mulesoft team will have dependency since whenever they will call Mule API, there will be some data exchange between different systems. Okay, it can be between front end Salesforce. It can be between front end and database. Okay. So here we will definitely have dependency on database and Salesforce system. So what we will do in sprint one database team and Salesforce team will create backend system for story one and two. And Mulesoft team will do their design of their API, how their API will work, what all API they will deliver to achieve this business requirement or to achieve those story. And third, we will have this front end team. Uh, they will be again like here, they will be dependent on Mulesoft team. Since without Mulesoft API spec, they will not able to deliver anything. At least they need Mulesoft API spec. Okay. So, what we can do here, at least we can provide API spec. Everyone know what is API spec means uh, our exchange, we will publish our RAML. So, they will come to know behavior of our API. Okay, that is the another important purpose why we publish our RAML on exchange. So whoever want to understand our API, so they will go to exchange, they will go through our API specification and they will able to understand what is the what will be behavior of our API. Okay. So at least like in sprint one database team and Salesforce team, they will try to deliver their uh, initial detail, like whatever stored block they are going to develop for those story or whatever 
object it can be like a custom object or it can be predefined object what we are going to use mule sub team going to use so they will deliver the, those things mule sub team will create design and they will provide api spec to front end team and front end team also will do their design now coming to sprint 2 okay in sprint 2 now this uh, database and salesforce team they they are ready to take story 2 since they have already delivered story one, so they are ready to take story two. And Mulesoft team now they have backend system ready, like whatever database and Salesforce is there. So that system is ready, and our design is also ready. Like Mulesoft team design is also ready. So they will do development of that story one. In sprint two, in sprint one, we did only Mulesoft team did only design, but sprint two, what all dependency it had, everything is resolved and good to like uh, Mulesoft team is good to start development. And front end team, they can also start their development, but they will not able to do testing since Mulesoft team started their development just now in this sprint. But yeah, maybe if you sprint to each of two weeks, then after one week, Mulesoft team will be able to provide few APIs so they can start integration also. Okay, so in a sprint two, database and Salesforce team will take uh, story two, Mulesoft team will take story one development, design and other things are ready. And front end team will take story again. He will also do story one development only. Testing again, he will be dependent on Mulesoft team. If Mulesoft team will be able to provide, will be able to deploy that application on any environment so that they can test, then they will do testing. Otherwise, they can start their development with the help of this API specification only. It's, till this point, every, everyone is clear. Uh, hey, hi, Ravi. Uh, a small question yes. here. Yes. What? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so if we, if uh, in between any API, if there are two or three interfaces over there, so do we need to create RAML for uh, that two, uh, that each and every interface, or do we need to create RAML for a uh, whole API? So, how is it going? Okay, so yeah, you mean to say within that application we have multiple API. Can, can yeah, you means, yeah, yeah, me, yeah, yeah. In particular, in single API, if you have two to three interfaces that are going to be uh, that is going to be there, so do we need to write RAML for all the interfaces? Okay, so here, uh, term wise, uh, like a man, few, few places I have seen there is some discrepancy in term while using term. Okay, so let me uh, let me sync everyone here. So whenever we create one mule application or one RAML, inside that RAML we can define multiple resources. Okay. So like, let's say like in one RAML we will have customer resource. Then inside customer we we have customer or, or let's say we have customer resource. Customer resource will have get method, post method, put method. Then we have another resource payment. Payment will also have two, three method. So now for this particular sprint or for this particular release, our payment is not in our scope. Only customer related API is in our scope. So what you will do? Only you will define customer related API spec. You will not define payment at this moment. You will define only customer related API spec and you will publish on exchange. Okay, or maybe in customer also, in customer resource also, we have three method get, post, and put. But at this moment, we have decided we will do only get and post method, put we will do later on. So you, you will create API spec for get and post and you will publish on exchange. So, is it okay now? So, 
such Sorry? specimens like ramel or api specific yeah ramel it can be api specific specification can be in two way either ramel or swagger okay so whenever you will create ramel once you will publish on exchange you can export it in two way either in ramel format or in swagger format so both both are known as api specification api specification yeah, okay sir Okay, and anyone else has any doubt? Okay, oh, fine. Nose. Okay, fine. Now, uh, we we discuss about this sprint and all now coming to story points okay so whenever you define any story or whenever for that particular story we you are deciding you are deciding how many tasks you are going to deliver okay so so for each task or for each story there will be some story points okay. so story point again i think last class we have done small discussion about story point so story point decide the complexity of your that particular task or story. OK, so if it is like very small story, only one property file getting updated. And you need to do some testing, then story point will be one. OK, relatively it's a bit complex API and here a uh, complex not API it means uh, we have some bigger change compared to like on the property file. We are having some CR and we need to do some change there. So in that case, the story point will be three or maybe if your API, whatever new API you got that is very simple API. So in that case also you can give story point as a three. OK. After that. Means always it will be uh, in odd number one, three, and then five. So next will be five. For example, you you got one medium complex API. Okay, then will be five. If you will get complex API, then seven. If you will get very complex API, then it will be nine. Like that, you can uh, give a story point. Okay, and whenever like Scrum Master or your team lead. They will means they will provide a sprint planning, so they have to give they have to provide a story point also. Okay, so this many story point we are going to deliver for this particular sprint. Okay, and then that will be again I am like I mentioned that should be justific like uh, so. We have this many of deliver this many capacity we have and we are going to deliver this this many things. So, so whatever he is going to provide that uh, sprint planning. So that that like he should be ready for justification also if there will be any. Objects from this uh, BA people, OK, since they will pay you money, OK, so. They, they have right, OK. How many uh, like story you are going to cover in this particular screen? And. Uh, how many. Developer and things. But how we will manage this? So for this we have one. Ticketing tool that is Jira. There are a few famous ticketing tools are there that is Agile dashboard. Okay. Azure, I don't think they have, but uh, sorry, not Agile dashboard. This one is Azure and then AWS. Azure, yeah. Azure, I think. Uh, Azure also provide this ticketing tool service. Okay. That is known as Azure. 
Anyone know exact name what uh, we say about that ticketing tool provided by Azure? OK, uh, no problem. So means there are multiple. Uh, OK, someone asked. No, service now is another ticketing tool. OK, and this uh, Atlassian is the same one, Jira one. OK, Jira is product of Atlassian. I think it's the Azure desk, right? Oh, sorry, sorry, Azure. Azure desk, Azure desk. OK, yeah, actually technically uh, what term we use, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it looks uh, this can be possible name, but I am not sure. So if you are 100% confident, then yes, we will use this name. Otherwise, yeah, like uh, people, other people can explore. So actually in Azure, they have complete setup starting through this ticketing tool. Then they have CI CD pipeline. So in everything is known as Azure DevOps. OK. Everything will be part of Azure DevOps, but uh, that particular ticketing tool which is used to manage. Uh, our scrum or, or our sprint that uh, particular uh, tool I forgot exact name. OK. So now that is uh, that is also widely used. Like one of the like most widely used is Jira. Then this Azure one. And service now actually service now I'm not hundred percent sure. Service now is a widely used actually very much. It's a it's a like a, many company use this service now, but I'm not sure that it's used to manage this uh, uh, like this uh, agile methodology or not like here sprint and all. That is used mostly for other tickets like uh, related to different kind of services related to defects. So many other things will be managed by service now, but for this uh, agile methodology, like how we use this Jira, I'm not 100% sure service now will be used. But yeah, in other place, it's a very like uh, famous ticketing tool, which is used by multiple organization for a different kind of purpose. OK. So, sorry, Raghi, are you sharing your screen by any chance? No, no, no. So far, we are like we are doing okay. a normal discussion. Okay. 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 I will see. Okay. Just like after five, ten minutes, once we will complete all this discussion, then I will show you how to create account and how to create story, how to create task, everything I will show you. So as I mentioned, like Jira is there, then Azure DevOps is also very famous. In same way, we have some other ticketing tool also, but yeah, mostly like if you are confident and if you know Jira ticketing tool, then other will also be very similar, so you can easily manage. OK. So let's now uh, I will show you like how to create account in a, uh, how to create Atlassian account. And then we will do detailed discussion of this. Uh, means how to create a story and all. So let me share my screen and then we will start.